It's July 16, 2020, 5:10 p.m. This is episode 963. Yay! Um, I just sent a rough to CNN, and I, it's going to be a good story when I do the story about it. Um, but I think we have our cartoon. Ah, just changed it. Just changed it. I should not have done that. Anyway, let me stop talking about that. Uh, but I'm going to go to work on that in a few minutes. And hey, here's today's video. I really like yesterday's cartoon with uh, Ivanka and the beans and stuff. Um, and when I thought about doing this one, I, I was wondering this morning, I forced myself to get out of bed at five and I started working on it and I was thinking maybe I should do something on Trump morning hospitals to report the number of deaths to the White House instead of the CDC, you know, so they can lie about it. But I like the, the, the Walmart thing. I like kind of getting away from Trump a little bit. And, uh, but I didn't know exactly how to draw the people. So I was wondering about it. I even Googled Walmart people, just typed that in into Google Images, and, and then I just kind of made the rest of them up. Um, I made a few notes to myself yesterday about what to include in some of these people. I knew what, I was going with the juicy and the tank top and the guy and the, and the shopping cart rascal thingy. <laughs> so, but other than that, I didn't know. The rest of it just kind of like, they just appeared as I was drawing it. And then I really started to like the cartoon more and more. Um, I had to start the thing like three times because I couldn't really get figure out where I wanted to put the sign and in uh, correlation to all the people in it. I was just, I don't know, just the image of it was, I was having a hard time with it to make it work. But I think it did. So it has a lot of shares today. People on social media love it. Everybody who's ever been to a Walmart who reads my cartoons loves it, so. Let's go ahead and do our shout outs. Uh, we have some long comments today, but kind of long. So TJ's complaining if you're lying in Congress, you're lying to Congress. So basically he's saying congressmen and women have immunity in can lie in Congress. The SBS should be held to a higher standard than the rest of us, not a lower standard. Um, he says, I'm not fine with anybody being locked up for lying in Congress when others that are liar and free walker and I don't like the double standard. Here's the thing, TJ, if, uh, if it should be illegal for congressmen to, allow, to lie in Congress and senators, then since we have three branches of government and they're equal, it should be illegal for the president to lie anytime because he's always in the presidency. Since the, the presidency travels wherever he goes, which is where they always say when they vacation, that they should be barred from lying based upon your logic. It should be illegal for a president to lie. Uh, yeah, in case you don't know, Donald Trump has told more lies than any president or any politician or any human being in the face of the planet in the history of the planet. I just think it's really surreal for a Republican or Trump supporter to complain about people lying. <laughs> I don't like liars either. I'm not defending any liars. But, I mean, I take on a liar every fucking day. And whenever somebody defends Donald Trump, they can't do it without lying. You know, so, TJ, if you think lying is bad, then stop defending Donald Trump. Because every time you defend Donald Trump, you're pretty much a liar yourself. Bruce comes in and says, reading TJ's comments, Below sounds like he agrees that the Republicans voted to quit Trump after saying they base their decisions on law should all be jailed. See, TJ, it goes both ways. And um, Bruce also writes that I said it's illegal for the child president to endorse commercial products, but he endorses his hotels all the time. It's not legal. It is not. It violates the emoluments. Uh, making money from foreign governments. Um, it, it should be illegal, but the president can just get away with whatever he wants, and no one's going to punish him. I mean, he spends money, government money at his resorts when the secret service goes to these resorts they have to, to rent all these rooms and buy sandwiches for themselves and rent golf carts and Trump charges them he doesn't cut them any slack they say they do but they don't when people talk about how Trump donates his salary they don't think about all the money that he's making but the real emoluments violation is whenever he takes money from foreign governments at his hotels and shit like that and that is illegal he's not being charged or prosecuted for it, but that is illegal. When he's out of office, I hope the next attorney general goes after his ass for that shit. And you'll have to Ivanka for this Goya endorsement. And Trump, put those beans on the Resolute desk. That's disgusting. They get upset when Obama put his shoes on the desk, his feet on the desk, which every president has done. Except for Donald Trump, because he can't get his feet up that high. But... Robert Cortino said this election is going to be a good exercise in how to identify someone who will vote for a Republican regardless of who is listed on the ticket. 
and he just says blue no matter who hypocrite um, again TJ you're uh, a trumplican you don't it, you're hip hypocritical to call anyone else a hypocrite <laughs> and right now to get rid of this um, this that disaster yeah vote blue no matter who because Donald Trump and all of these Republicans are just a fucking disaster. Donald Trump and everyone who, who enabled this shit. This is a human disaster, man. I mean, look at what happened today. Uh, the report that came in that uh, they, they shut down travel from Europe too late. Uh, and the thing is, it was shut down too late because Donald Trump, first he shut down some countries, but he didn't shut down any nations that had Trump resorts. He put that ahead of dealing with a pandemic. How is that right? How, how are you cool with that? People need to see this and understand understand it for what it is. This is corruption. And this guy will kill you for his best interest, you know, for what he thinks is his self-reservation and, and his financial interest or, and his ego. You talk about how he's mismanaged this. That's exactly what, I mean, how can you look at this and say that he's done a good job? I mean, people have died because of Donald Trump's management over this. And what's he doing right now? He's advertising beans. So, hi, I'm Clay Jones. If you come to this channel, you support Donald Trump. Go well, fuck yourself. Thank you, everybody, for watching today's cartoon uh, being made. Uh, leave a comment, and I will give you a shout-out. And if you click the red button, you can subscribe to my channel, too. It'll make you very special. And one of the cool kids. Everybody, have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.